our ministry last year in 2014 served 34,000 plus people on a budget of about $150,000. So if you run those numbers and go, gosh, that's less than X dollars per person, if you saw what they're able to leave here with for their families, it's crazy the amount of blessing we're able to pour onto people for just a few dollars. Above that, with us being an all-volunteer operation here with no paid staff for 10 years and having a building that's completely given to us each month, we have literally no overhead other than buying food and fueling our trucks and buying insurance. So that's where every dime goes. When we set out to do this was not to just be like a conveyor belt of free stuff for yeah. people. We wanted to just use free items as a platform to talk about Jesus with people. So what we found is as we have people come in, they meet with a seasoned Christ follower at our desks upstairs. And not only do we go, hey, what are your physical needs? We go, why are you, why are you in the throes of alcoholism? Why, why is your marriage falling apart? What do you need? How can we build into you? Can we refer you as a network partner to Al-Anon or AA or get you marriage counseling or get you clinical counseling if you need that? So we're digging into people's lives and spending as much time as we need to with people to know so that they walk away going, hey, these people loved on me when I came in. I wasn't just a number. They love me for who I am. And we've built untold relationships with people that come back a lot of times that don't need anything. Maybe they've gotten a job and they're self-sustaining, but they go, I just miss you people. I want to come back and see Steve or Kathy or Chris or whoever it was that built into my life. Oh, by the way, I got a job and I have a house now and I can support my family. And we go, yeah, that's a victory. <laughs> what a win. Praise God for that. Yeah. So um, we also have people that give their life to the Lord here, which is amazing. Um, last year, while we don't go, hey, another notch in the belt, that's not why we're here, but probably had 50-ish or so people that gave their life to the Lord, got connected to a local church, got discipled, and hopefully they're rippling that into their children and extended family. So there's just a lot of intangibles that the Lord has happened It's here. fantastic. Um, two Tuesday nights ago at closing, we had a young couple that came in. I was not here, but Kathy called me about them. They had small boys, two little boys that were literally crying because they hadn't eaten for several days and the family was living in their car. So we actually just allocated resources to them. I think it was about $300 and put them up for four or five nights at a local motel just to get them out of their car. So this is the kind of situations that are rubber meets the road, really happening. You can't deny it because we're seeing it with our own two eyes right here in Northern Kentucky. And that's why we exist. We exist to be Jesus with flesh on the people that are coming in and out of this place. And um, this week, she got us like 20 cases of apples, so I've had that all week. Mm. You know, sometimes we have to go through it and pick out the bad, but we have a pig farmer <laughs> that uh -huh. comes and gets all of our throwaway food. So nothing is wasted. No, nope, nothing is wasted here. <laughs> Even our clothes, we have, I didn't show you that, but we have an X bag downstairs. If it promotes drugs, sex, alcohol, or has like pictures of skulls and bones and that kind of stuff, stained, holy jeans, our people will not give out holy jeans even though they pay $50 to go buy them. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, they put that in that X bag. Yeah. MP also has a clothing distribution center which they support orphanages with clothes in third world countries. And so in that X bag, they will take, they sell that bag by the poundage to another organization that takes all of that, shreds the material, reweaves it back into bolts of cloth that go to places like India and places that make their own clothing. So we truly do not waste anything here. Not only are we taking something into their home to help them physically, but they're allowing us to pray with them and talk about the Lord in their own home while we're in there delivering those things. So it's, it's beautiful. It's awesome.